So here goes the arbitrary decision making element in 2K in the algorithm. So check it out. Regular speed first. Now he just got a bucket off of that. Now let's look at what actually occurred close up. So my teammate right here was able to steal the ball. Now you see this? Both hands on the ball. This was a steal. This is a steal. Both hands on the ball. Let's go all the way around it. Now let's look at what occurred. Frame by frame. Look at this. For no reason whatsoever. Right? And not only that, but the ball sucks right into the computer's hand and he goes right into a layup animation. Right? This is what I mean. This is the type of stuff right here that most people, when they're playing this game, they do not see this type of stuff happening. They just continue to go through. They don't stop and replay. They don't look at it so they don't understand to what degree this game is actually constantly cheating. This was a steal. And keep in mind, this is off a turnover that I just got. Now look at this. Boom. The ball didn't even touch his hand. He wasn't allowed to catch it. Bounces off his head. Bounces off his hand. Bounces off his head. Or back off his hand. And he's not allowed to retrieve the ball. He's not allowed to retrieve this ball. This was a solid pass. You can say it was off, but he, he he's supposed to have caught that. But it was a predetermined turnover. It was a pre it was a arbitrary ruling by the algorithm that this was going to occur. I was not supposed to receive this ball. I was supposed to get a turnover. That's the arbitrary decision making of the algorithm in 2K where it could just intervene and it's like divine intervention. It just gets to decide what's going to happen as opposed to what's really going down. Right. And they could throw off the course of an entire game just like this. String, we're up by what, like 25? You string three different scenarios like this together, and who knows what the hell could happen. It's just the second quarter. So now they get the ball, wrestle for it, wrestle for it, even though he had many opportunities to retrieve it, even after it bounced off his hand. Right here, he could have just gotten it. Right? But when you actually look at his 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 animation and his body language, boom. It kind of looks like he was reflected off of uh, that force field that we always talk about, where it's like, no, you can't go forward right now. All right, so now they get the ball, come down, fast break, and then this scenario happens. See that? How they can, they can string all of this together. They could just weave everything together and determine, dictate what's going to be allowed to happen. This is the major issue of 2K. This is why um, this game, it could never really be right. It can never really be a great game, right? They, they've, they've made strides to improve this game. They've made a, a, a they, they significantly improved it, but it's still horrible. Why is it still horrible and always will be? Because they will not restrict the algorithm's ability to dictate what occurs in the game. They're forcing what they want to happen, right? Anyway, peace.